an easy way to do stone walls in Blender without the need of crazy subdivisions, remeshing, or using displacement maps. Let's go with a new file. Take the default cube alone, shape it into a wall or do anything you have in mind, then add some subdivision on it. I will use Ctrl R to add the cuts on the length and height of the wall. The width can stay without cuts. Once you're done, hit Ctrl A in object mode to apply scale, then go to the add-ons in the preferences to enable the cell fracture add-on. Now select your wall in object mode, hit F3 and choose cell fracture. The default settings works fine. You just need to disable sharp edges, and you can also change some of the numbers for the pieces and randomness. Those parts are generated over the original cube, so hide it. I can after that delete some of the upper parts, then hit Ctrl-1 to add subdivision surface modifier on the pieces. We can clean this in edit mode by selecting all, and with F3 search bar, Look for Cleanup Limited Dissolve. This is optional, so try it if you want. I will also change the pivot to Individual, then scale the parts to close any gaps between them. You can, after that, edit the wall by increasing the subsurface or deleting some parts of the wall. We can join this together in one piece. I will first switch all parts to Mesh, a fast way to apply modifiers on multiple objects, then select All and hit Ctrl-J to join. If you find the parts bigger than you can handle, you can increase the cell fracture source limited to 300 or 400 for more parts in the same volume. And that's it. Like and share if you're into rocks, and try not to get hit by one. Stay sharp. Goodbye.